All right, what up gang? I am super late on this video. Well, I guess not late because this was intentional, all right? So I didn't drop a long form video last week because I knew that I was taking this week off from lifting because, drum roll please, we got a new tattoo. So I don't want to get it infected. I don't want it to get sweaty. I want to do the healing process the best I possibly can. So I'm taking this week off, like seven days straight, which sucks. But I wanted to have some content for you guys this week. And last week, the video that you're about to see um, is a collaboration with my boy, Stu. And so uh, you see his handle here and uh, you can go give him a follow because I mean, man, he has some great content. He's hustling pretty hard to just grow his brand. And, uh, you know, I want to support him in that. And so I hope you guys will, you know, check him out. Uh, and I hope you'll watch this video because I had a fun one doing this with him. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. All right, what's going on, guys? I'm here with my boy, Stu. How's it going? And uh, you're going to see all of his stuff, all of his content posted through uh, throughout this video that you can go follow him. So like his channel, subscribe to his channel. Uh, share his channel, all the things that YouTubers are supposed to say. So anyway, Stu, off the cuff, anything you want to say before we get this nasty back lift in? I'm um, just going to say I'm off of a Reese's cup this morning. Not the most optimal nutrition, but we're here. We're going to put it into work, and I'm excited to get it, get it going. I love it. I've heard it's pretty optimal. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Feel it so much in my rear delt for whatever reason. I'm not getting a good connection to that. Oh my gosh. Nice. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Making it look easy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Love it. You got more at this weight. Yep. Come on. Nice. Cooking. Cooking. Nice.
Oh yeah, that's nice. So what split do you normally run? I usually do, I do um, 15, 12, 10, 8. 15, 12, 10, 8, yeah. Start low, working up to a top set of eight reps. Right. So each week when I go in, the next week I'll either try and add five pounds to that eight reps mm -hmm. or try and do one or two extra. Extra reps on top of the what 15 last week. or on the eight. So on you would, eight. so you would do 10 that you try to get. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You feel like you've seen a lot of growth from that? Yeah. That's awesome. For sure. Because it helps me be able to have a good standard set. Mm -hmm. Like and work off of that. So like rather than, there was a long time where I was just coming in, doing the same weights, like each week, like same amount, right? same reps. And I was just staying at the same spot. Yeah. So now I'm really trying to see my growth going yeah. into this here, like of the weights going up. Yeah, so. I love that. Mid rows, it right, is. So we need to do my steps for this one. Okay, perfect. Let's do All it. Right, so we're gonna 15. Go 15, 12, 10, and 8 is going to be your top set. So okay. if you feel like you can get a good 8 in, yeah. make that work up, Work up to yeah. that. All right. All right. Here we go. There, right there is where we want. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to start low. Tell me about it. Oh yeah. So I'm getting my first tattoo on Friday. Which spot on your arm hurt the worst? This little. Oh, the wrist. On my wrist. The wrist, dude. Oh. There or or here on that little bone. Bone. We're down here in the elbow. Dang. I'd probably say the best spot would be forearm. 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 Front face on the forearm. Or honestly, up here didn't hurt that bad. Either. Not too bad. Do you have it on um, the back of your tricep there? Is it like around? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of around. Does that hurt at all on this side? Like when you do on? Up like here, here, like in your. Yeah. Like elbow gooch. Elbow gooch. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt Dang. a little bit. That'll be fun. <laughs> Nice. a little bit on those last three. Oh, it's so hard with the time under tension. Pull rep, pull rep, three more. Easy. One more, all the way. Good luck. Oh, a little bit. I can do a little point five, a little point five action for him. I know it'll make it look that way, but it's like I have no room, no room. Yeah. 
Feeling juicy? Uh, do you do do you do any forearm like specific movements? No. Just like compound like I get compound out dumbbell work. Yeah. Yeah. I do dumbbell work pretty much every day of the week. Did you have like naturally like thick forearms or did you have to like grow them intentionally? Grow them up. So when I was younger, I started lifting at 14. So okay. the only thing I had before I joined like Planet Fitness yeah. was just dumbbells. Yeah. So like I was just spamming. Dumbo workouts, yeah. so like side races, front races, grip strength for sure, hammer curls, yeah. regular curls, any, anything that like involves my work. That's awesome. Yes. Ten years later, we're getting there. Slowly. Ta it takes time, man. It takes time. Uh, How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-four. So nice. Nice. Yeah. Relatively young. Yeah. I feel relatively young, and then some days I'm like, damn, I feel old. Like it's just, it's a fluctuating it's scale. Yeah. See, you got the beard though. I don't have, I don't have the same. Like I cannot grow a good beard. So like, yeah. at the most I look 24. When I shave, I look like 18. They're like, oh, like did you just graduate? No, I'm a grown man with an eight-month-old. You know, like it's just. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't shave. So every time I shave, they start carding me at stores. <laughs> they're like, you're too young to be in here. Yeah, they're like. Yeah. It's hilarious. I was here last week. <laughs> you don't remember me? You never see me over pump. I'm off the racist cup this morning. So it's so different though, because like normally when I push to failure on this stuff, I'm doing like 32 to 38 reps per set, yeah. just fluctuating down in the drop set, and it's yeah. awful. But this, like, you're keeping the weight the same, so it's just kind of like there's no relief to the next end. Yeah. But I think that I think the part I'm actually saying here, I think the part that makes it hard. So at the end, you saw me just kind of like rep through it. Like that's not what I want to prioritize, because like I'm not getting a full stretch. There's no time under tension. So what makes this hard? is like trying to keep all of this weight under control for 15, 12, 10, 8. So doing something new, dying. So I'll be sore for like eight days. Let's go. There it is. As Stu says, turn me up. <laughs> turn me up. Turn them up. Oh, yeah. Once we get the arms in, then the pump cover comes off. It is, come on. Yeah, nice hold. Let's go, let's go. So what's made the biggest impact for you being a pastor working with the youth? Like the biggest impact on me or the biggest impact on, on, on me? Yeah. Personally, I mean, I mean, 100%, like, I feel like most weeks I walk away feeling like I learn more from them just because, like, they're in this season of, like, trying to figure out, like, their relationship with Jesus and how to go deeper. And then they see and understand things or look at it from a different point of view than I would, and it just brings fresh insight. So, um, and I've just made a lot of good relationships with the leaders that we have on our team that, like, lead small groups. So, yeah, I would just say... I feel like I take away 
a lot more than they do most weeks. Not to say that our team doesn't like invest in them, but it's just like it's just a rich experience for everybody involved. So I feel like it's good practice for your young end too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you get to see a lot of things like from certain age groups moving on where you can apply, you know, where your mental state is at now. Yeah. Credit years down the road. Yeah. Jump start to that. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, just like capitalizing on like their youth and learning in it yeah. instead of just messing around. Yeah, like I have a seven-year-old sister. We're 17 years apart. Yeah. So like. Huge difference. Huge difference. I always ask for like a sibling growing up, but like watching her grow up was basically like having a kid of my own in Yeah. I didn't see like her youth years because me and my mom were close, but right. my mom had me at 17. Yeah. So it's like crazy split. Yeah. It's like huge. 17 years apart each. <laughs> yeah. It's a huge gap. Yeah. But I think there's something unique about it. Like you don't hear that often and I think there's a cool opportunity that you have to like be, I don't know, like a positive male influence in her life. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna do we're gonna do cable uh, they're cable pullovers. He calls them pull throughs, but basically you take the rope and you're going down this way. This is a movement that I am not too familiar with, so it'll be interesting to like get some cues and see exactly what exactly this can target. I'm thinking that I'm gonna feel this a lot in the lats, similar to like a pullover with a dumbbell. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes, and uh, hopefully this can be something that aids in the ability to get that lower lat. Because as you guys know, like the lower lat is something that I struggle with so much. Um, so we're going to be trying that. See if it does any difference. So let's see. Well, let me teach you something here. There it is. I keep hitting my head on this. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get you mic'd up. I'm going to give you this just completely. All right. <laughs> Testing. <laughs> I'm nervous. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so what you want to do for a tri pull through? is obviously you want tension in the rope so if you're shorter i'm saying if you're like you know five six or, or lower you'd obviously want to drop this down right so there's not as much tension in it because what you're doing is you're allowing your lats to pull out so what you'll do is you'll take a couple steps back right so you'll have like a 45 degree angle in the cable slight bend in the knee right we're not poking our booty out right slight bend in the knee nice flat back almost like how you'd keep it for a deadlift or an RDL. Keep your head aligned with your spine. Let it come out, keep the cable wide, pull to the sides. Boom. Boom. Right? Slow and control, trying to keep your shoulders back so it's all lat engagement. Bring it all the way to the back is also a low key tricep workout. So getting that extra little push in the back is super useful and when it comes to your arms you don't want to straight arm it but you also don't want to bend it too much where it ends up being more of like a pull you want to keep it at that 45 almost how like your arms would be angled on using like a pec deck but yep let's keep pull through similar to using like a z-bar but I just like it because it feels smooth How do my arms look in that? I feel like they were a little too straight. A little too, a little too wide. A little almost. too wide. You want to keep it tight, like just to a point where like you'll bring it to the, to the edge. Okay. 
because I feel a lot of tension here, which like I know I'll feel a little bit, yeah. but like not as much here. I think that I just have crappy mind muscle connection to my back. Okay, okay. That's nice right there. <laughs> That's dessert for later. Oh, dude, that's the worst. <laughs> the living like, meme. The one that I saw him, like, just sitting there. I was like, what are you doing? He was like, ain't no way. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, one time we had, like, a, a youth ministry gathering. And then after the gathering, I was cleaning up the space. And I found ten fingernails, like, chewed off fingernails just right on the, the seating area. I was like, this is disgusting. And then I tracked the person down. I was like, did you bite your fingernails? Like, I, bu I used to bite my fingernails, but, like, to leave them on the steps, bro. Yeah. Like, put them in your pocket. I don't care. Just don't leave them. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, I'm going to just say, like, what, what body part should I work on, in your professional um, opinion? Shoulders. Shoulders? I feel like if you had a, a wider shoulder. A wider shoulder, yeah. It'll make you look more broad. Right? So, you already have a good lap. You know, you have good back form yeah. for your feet taper. Like, you see your lats pulling out. Yeah. So if you do a spread, it's going to come in. So I feel like <sighs> if you have a further delt cap. Like the, the yeah, the cap yeah, on the side. The cap, then you'd be able to have that right. feet taper start to build in. So just lateral raise. Just, just lateral raise. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to superset them with these Zotmans. Ugh. Taking it. And obviously legs. Everybody needs Everybody legs. Everybody needs legs in general. <laughs> calves, man. Legs, oh, yeah, calves, yeah. toes. I need a, you know, toe muscle. Yeah. Ugh. Dude, it sucks because, like, Friday, like, so Thursday, tomorrow's going to be my last workout till, like, next week because I'm not going to work out with a tattoo because I'm not trying to, like, yeah. get it all sweaty and potentially infect it. So I'm really worried that I'm going to lose, <laughs> like, not progress, oh. but, like, just taking that. Taking that week I'll off is going to be rough. I'll be opposite. As soon as I get a tattoo, I'm at the gym. Really? Yeah, I've worked out. And they've all healed properly? Oh, yeah. Like, did I'm you use Sanoderm? Or did you just, like, have it open with, like, Aquaphor? Had it open. Because as long as it doesn't dry out, it'll be good. That's the problem. Huh. I like to clean. Like, I clean mine, like, three, four times a day. Yeah. That's what I've heard is, like, so important. If you don't use Sanoderm, just, like, get in there at least three times a day. But it's also your first tattoo, so like... I know, I'm babying you gotta, it. You gotta go through it. So I'm like, babying it. Yeah. yeah, I got my first tattoo at 14, so... Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Which one? Uh, I'll show you that. It's in my one. <sighs> so I got a mom tattoo when I was 14. <laughs> with Mickey Mouse hands. And then when I was 15, I moved out for the first time. Wow. And I got a Grim Reaper on the other one. <laughs> That's awesome. A Grim Reaper. Yeah. Let's like, go. Nobody loves me. Feeling it. Check it out. Got the mom tat. That's amazing. The little, that's funny. What does that say? I don't know. It's supposed to say, say mom. Say mom. But, and then I got a Grim Reaper up here. Dude, As you sick. can tell, it's 10 years old, but. That's nice. I, I mean, it kept pretty well. Yeah. It it's kept pretty well. You know what the funniest thing is, though? What? Seeing the difference of where it's proportioned as I've gotten bigger over oh, the years. Oh, do you feel like it's like moved? Oh yeah, it's definitely moved. Like like all this just like wasn't there. Like, wow. Really, like, it covered a lot more. Yeah. See, that's what like, the one thing I'm worried about is like if I put on like mass amount of size, which is the goal, yeah. like how much is it gonna mess with the tattoo? But yeah. I feel like I gotta get OD big for that to happen. I'm excited to be like 70. Yep. Oh, no, nothing. 
Dude, well, like, I, I think about, like, all the people that are going to be like that. Like, there's going to be so many, like, tatted head-to-toe oh, yeah. people and, like, 80 years old. I'm happy, like, oh, no. I'm happy that vintage, the vintage-esque people didn't, like, take off too much. Because there was a couple of years where, like, vintage was the thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. All about the trends. All about the trends. But see, that's why, I like, uh... American traditional, because like it's always stylish. Like that's what I'm getting. Like American traditional pieces for the sleeves and just. Yeah. I love traditional pieces. Who are you going to? I'm going to a guy named Reed at Dreams Glide. Okay. Reed. How long was that wait? Like three months? No, <laughs> dude, no. Like I literally scheduled it like two weeks ago. Oh, word. Yeah. What? Uh, are you? There's um. The Lancaster Art Festival. On March first. March first to third. At at Wyndham, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna is, go there. Yeah. So I'm I'm getting the tattoo on Friday. So it's on March 1st, and I'm like, am I going to stop by the show and see if I could get something else? Because I'm already, i trying to book with The Apprentice at Dreams Collide, because his stuff is pretty sick, too. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, listen, like, he can use my body as a training tool, yeah. like, but his if stuff looks good. Bucks and you can go around and get, like... It's fr Wait, at the, at the show? Yeah. It's 25 bucks? Yeah. That's a plus tip, obviously, but, like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. All right, I might have to go then. 25 bucks yeah, let me for know like if, smaller let me pieces know you, yeah let me know yeah. if you um, dude I, yeah i'll be yeah think about it, cause, I mean, i'll yeah, most likely be there then on a saturday just like yeah. pop in i'm just gonna take a vlog too just like kind of cool that's cool that take is, photos for people kind of like well, you'd expand I got, I got this tattoo for free for really content. yeah let me see dang that's awesome dude so get to it yeah and then once i run out of time i'll start doing online coaching Oh, I've heard, I've heard that's getting really big, too. Oh, yeah, it hits really big, but for me, I just, I love being with people on the flesh. The personal feel, man. Personal feel. That's what, that's what matters. I'd rather, you know, wait, I'd rather use all my time to be with people on the flesh, you know, get to interact with people and help them through the, the tough things. Oh, yeah. It's relationship. Right. Tip of the day, never stray away from eating. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, um, you know, if you're new to the gym, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, if you're afraid, you know, to step into a new environment, the biggest thing that I have to say is never be afraid. You know, you're never gonna get further than where you're at if you're too afraid to try. You know, that's like going in to a new job or, you know, a new relationship, you know, or, a new church or anything that you're doing in your life it's very important you know to not care what other people think you know that can be regarding your parents that can be regarding your closest friends you know or even sometimes the relationship that you're in you need to be willing to take the leap you know have faith in yourself you know have faith that God's plan for you is going to put you into a position to be exactly where we're supposed to be at you know so this aspect comes in the gym heavy you know, but you can also take the structure of coming into a gym, building that structure for yourself, you know, into nutrition, you know, into how you carry yourself with your work, you know, into how you carry yourself in your relationship and your family. You know, it all comes together. So biggest tip of the day is don't be afraid to try and keep on going. See, this is the thing. I'm going to just drop that. That's... Let me just drop the whole mic. This is the thing. I like to surround myself with bigger dudes because... You're the average of your five closest people, right? That's like the statistic. So if I surround myself with big guys like this, eventually I'm gonna get big. Let's pose down here. So, okay, so just here, here. Bruh. Pretty good. All right. That's why when I was three. Oh, dang. Um, really early on. She had um, a bird, uh, what's it called? Collection or? Like a whole like little like garden area. That's like my biggest memory. Yeah. That's awesome. It's cool.
cool to like pay tribute to loved ones that way. <sighs> yeah, once I get that cap look, man, like I, there's like separation in there, but it's not like as juicy as I want it to. Yeah, caps, it changes the game because like it gives you that broad look, and it also helps that lag. Here's my. All right, so Stu, thanks for the workout, man. Thanks for putting me through it. I feel like I grew a little bit today. And uh, thanks for your wisdom. Thanks for your tips. If you want to go follow Stu, you can check out his Instagram handle. It's up on the screen here. You can check out his YouTube page. It's up on the screen here, somewhere in there. Uh, but follow him. Great follow. He gives tips. Entertaining vlogs that, you know, you can sit down, eat a meal to, and uh, have some fun while you're doing that. Because if you're in a bulk right now, you've been it for a while, you probably hate bulking right now because you're just shoving your face full of food all the time. So you got to make it enjoyable. So go watch Stu's page. All right, hey. hey. Watch his stuff, too. Awesome what he's doing. You know, he's trying to get his content out there. He's trying to make an impact. You know, follow his stuff. YouTube isn't easy. I know myself from being in social media. He has great wisdom. Great guy. Great faith. Great stuff to talk about. Thanks, man. All right. That was a good workout. Back is feeling it. Arms are feeling it. Pretty good. I, uh... Yeah, I just appreciate Stu and, you know, the work that he's putting in. It's really cool to see him just kind of, even in the short time I've known him, grow as a content creator and kind of have stuff out there. And so definitely make sure that you check his stuff. Uh, pretty awesome content. And, uh, yeah, he's just ha he has a lot of knowledge about um, lifting and, you know, growing muscle. Um, and obviously he's pretty big, so, like, you know, trust him. So, anyway, we're on our way home gonna eat some food because I'm always eating when am I not eating it's a struggle but if we want to get big what do they say they got you gotta eat big so get big eat big anyway. um, yeah so I think we're gonna do that and then a long day ahead it is crappy weather out it's like 50 mile an hour winds supposedly gonna happen a day thunderstorms rain torrential downpour blah 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 so I'm not looking forward to that because I'm not a big rain guy but we will make it through. Uh, yeah, I I got to give you guys a heads up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be making a gym vlog next week because I'm not going to be in the gym. I know, right? So I'm getting like a random workout in tomorrow night and then going from there. But I just, whew, it's going to be rough. So I might make a tattoo vlog um, or my thoughts on the process of tattooing. If you're interested in that, so you can stick around. But anyway, all right, I'm going to get going. I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe on all this stuff because, you know, it matters. It helps the algorithm, you know, the algorithm helps the algorithm show love to you, boy. And uh, do the same for Stu. You saw his handles. Up here they are again. And, uh, yeah, just a great follow. Anyway, all right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.